In this video, I'm going to show you how to very quickly play some music in your level. It's not going to be super complex. It'll just show you the basics on how to set some triggers going and set up a very simple music player inside of your level that will play music when you begin playing and then when you enter a trigger volume. So you can see, you'll hear some music, then we can enter a trigger volume and it'll switch our track and it'll fade in and sound a little bit nicer. So first off, we need our music tracks. So I have three tracks that I've already made and I have these. So for you, you probably just want to grab two music tracks that can be looped to play in your game. I'm going to drag these two in here, which is what I'm going to use for testing. I'll drag those in, but make sure you import those in. They do have to be WAV files and past that as long as they're 16 or 24 bit, it should be fine. So once you get these imported, I'm just going to save these immediately just so I keep the reference over there. And second thing to do is you need to set your tracks to looping. So you're going to do that inside the actual music track file. So open that up. And for each one of these, if you double click on the asset, you're going to go to looping. You're going to check that to say, yes, I do want to loop. Do this for both tracks. Looping. Yes. And we're going to save it again because we made those changes. You could optionally, you know, make sound cues out of these, but yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do anything complex with it. I'm just going to play the asset, but you totally could. The next thing that we need is we need a music player in our level. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a music player that exists inside the level and then just call it to play music tracks by referencing it in my level blueprints. There's a lot of ways to do music systems, even more complex ways, especially if you're wanting to play music between levels, but we're not going to even get that deep here. I just want to show you the basics. So I'm just going to drag one of my sounds off into the scene right here. And so it'll create my little emitter over here, my um, audio component in my scene. And so once I do that, I'm going to do a few things. I'm going to first, I'm going to remove the sound that is playing by default. I want to choose that manually through code. So I'm going to click this little button over here. So now it should not play anything by default. We just use that to get it in. Second thing is I'm going to rename this to music player. And then the third thing I'm going to do is because it's music, I want it to play in 2D, so I want to hear it all the same volume, no matter where I am. So I'm going to uncheck Allow Spatialization. Oh, there's a fourth thing. Make it not auto-activate. So uncheck auto-activate. So no auto-activate, uh, no Allow Spatialization, rename Music Player, and clear out the track. Once we have all this, uh, we want to start triggering this inside of our level. And actually, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zero this out so I can find it more easily in the future. I like to just zero it out and then pull it straight up. You can see that other Unreal assets are doing this as well. So we'll just pull it straight up so we can find it in the future pretty easily. All right. So now let's open up our level blueprints, open level blueprint. What I want to do is I want to make sure that I have my music player selected. And then, then once you click on it to select it and selected, you come back into your level blueprints and inside of your level blueprints, you want to right click and we don't actually have a begin play node yet. So let's create that first. And begin play, we'll zoom in. When we begin, we want to start playing a music track. So because we have our music player selected, inside of our level blueprint, we can right click and we can say, create a reference to music player. That's only because we have it selected. So make sure you do that. From this, we actually want to try and play our sound cue. We can do this. We can only do this if we are pulling off of the music player. So make sure you do that. And we're looking for, um, actually, first we want to set the track before we play it. So let's set the new track that we want and we'll specify that. We'll say set sound, um, just choose audio component. That's fine. It'll convert it. This just means that from my uh, object in my level, I actually want to get the audio component on there, which is what we need to play our track. So that's all it is. I'll pull this up. So when we begin play, I want to set a new sound. So set the music track you want. Anytime you want to play a music track in your level, you want to set the track you want. Uh, maybe we'll start off with ambient. That's fine. And then once we set it, we're going to pull off of audio component. You could type play, but actually I want to be a little fancier than that and type fade in. And then I want to make sure I connect my execute node. Now I can get it a fade duration so it won't instantly play. It'll just fade in, which kind of sounds a little bit nicer. So we'll hit two seconds. I think that's pretty good. Let's drag these over. Actually, I think this might work. Let's test it out. We'll do compile, save. We've set the music track we want. It should loop. We've set the fade duration, uh, and this is referencing our music player, so we should be good there. Let's minimize, come back in, and we'll hit the play button.
Okay, so you should be able to hear music there. All that's doing is we're referencing our music player, we're telling it to set a new sound, and we're, then we're telling it to play. And because it's 2D, we should hear it everywhere. So honestly, if all you want to do is play a track when the level begins, you should be good to go. That's all you need to do to play a track on the level when the level starts. We're going to do one more step just to show you what it would be like if you want to make music triggers inside of your level or you want to change that at any point. Maybe, you know, your boss battle starts and you want to do a new track, that's fine. So let's compile, save again. We'll come back. At this point, it's just up to you. It's how do you want to trigger your new music track? For me, I'm just going to make a little trigger volume just for testing. So we'll put it at the end of this ramp over here. First, I'm going to make a little trigger box inside of my scene. Again, you could base this off game logic. You could do anything you want here, but I'm just going to make a little example. We'll resize this. All right, that's pretty good. All right, so when the player enters that trigger box, we want to play a new track. So I want to show you how you could change it once the level is going. So I'm going to go back into my level blueprints. First of all, what we could do is we could just highlight this, copy and paste. You might recognize anytime you're copy pasting blueprints, you should probably make a function out of that. But, you know, I'm trying to keep this real simple. You could collapse this into a function and make it reusable and just call it any anywhere you want. You can make the music player a variable. All these things you can do, but I'm just going to save time and just simplify the example and show you how to do this. So I'm going to select a new track. Let's do growth. We'll keep the same fade duration. We're pulling from the same music player reference, so this should all be good. Now, how do we want to trigger it? We'll come back in. We'll select our trigger box. Make sure that you have this selected if you're doing a trigger. Come back in, right click. We're going to add an event for trigger box. We'll say um, expand collision. Since I have it selected, I have the option to add on actor begin overlap. So I'll do that. Uh, when another actor overlaps this trigger box, so I want to get the other actor, I'm going to test to see if that's the player. Um, this should be review for you from other tutorials. If not, I have plenty of other tutorials that show how to do this. We're just going to test if this is the other player. So get player pawn, pull off of that, say equals, equals. Um, I'm going to hold alt and disconnect that and then just pull that in the bottom just to make it cleaner. Say so if the other actor that overlaps this is equal to the player, and if so, we're going to make a branch node by pulling off uh, the result condition. Say branch. If it is the other player, so if it's true, then set sound, fade in. Now, this might work. We could go inside the trigger volume and we'll trigger the track but we might keep triggering the track and that may not what you want inside of a trigger volume. So I think I'm going to add a do once node here so that we're only doing this one time as optional. Again, you don't even have to do this off trigger volumes. You could say when, you know, last enemy changed to intense track or something, just however you want to trigger this is fine. I just want to give you an example, uh, branch. Yes. Do once completed set sound growth. And that should be it. Again, you could refactor this all you want make this into a more complex system, but I'm just going to try to keep this quick just to show you the basics. All right, let's come back in. We'll hit play. Okay, so you should hear this playing and then you're going to hear it change when we go over here. All right, and that's it. That's the basics. Again, you can make this more complex if you want, but if all you're looking to do is add some music triggers in your level or just play your music when you uh, begin play, just set up your cue, tell it when to play, give it a track and tell it to fade in just like we've been doing in these blueprints over here. So hopefully this helped you out. Hopefully this helped you, um, you know, get some music going. And then if you like this, you want to make this more complicated, totally start building out your system, make it reusable, make music playing across multiple levels, um, do whatever you like, but hopefully this lets you get started.